What's up everybody? So today I got a really quick video for you. Um, we're gonna be taking a look at this guy. The Belkin MagSafe Car Vent Mount Pro. Kind of a mouthful, but as most of you are probably familiar, this year with Apple's iPhone 12 lineup, they introduced MagSafe, which is the magnetic strip on the back of the iPhone that allows you to use a myriad of accessories with your device in order to kind of boost its functionality. Now, for those of you who have already gotten this year's iPhone, you're probably aware that there's a pretty limited selection of stuff that you can actually get to utilize this MagSafe technology. And right from the jump, when Apple announced this functionality, one of their partners that they you know, teamed up with in order to create some third-party accessories was Belkin. This was one of the ones that I saw immediately and I really knew I had to have it. They were definitely pretty hard to get for the first couple months of the iPhone being released. My brother was nice enough to hook me up with one for Christmas. I've been using it for a couple months now and overall, super, super satisfied. I think this is one of the best MagSafe accessories that you can get at the moment. And so let me tell you exactly why. This may be a good thing or a bad thing to you, but this is a vent style car mount. And so what that means is that the little connector on the back that allows you to mount it to your vehicle it actually has to clip onto one of the vents in your car. Now, some cars don't let you do that, um, or some cars, the vents are situated in a way to where that would make this really inconvenient. But if you do happen to have a car that works that way, it definitely is pretty sweet. Now, this is meant only to have the phone mounted to the actual car mount. It's not actually a charging car mount. Now that may be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you look at it. I've used wireless charging car mounts in the past, ones that you should ones that use traditional chi mounting. Um, in my personal experience, they charge super slow. Um, and when I'm charging my phone in my car, it's usually because it's in a pinch and I really need to charge it up pretty quickly. I don't find that it's that useful personally to have a wireless charger in your car. Now that's just for me, my personal preference. I like to have this in the car and have my phone, you know, attached to it. And then what I do is I have a fast charger plugged into the bottom of it. That way when I grab my phone off the actual car mount, it continues to charge, it doesn't stop the charging. And then on top of that, it charges my phone significantly faster. Now, this guy runs $39.99. There's a lot of similar, cheaper, hold on. <laughs> This is Coco, by the way. Looks like she wants to join the video. Uh, there's a lot of cheaper car mounts that you can get that look pretty similar to this. A lot of them give you the option to have wireless charging. So like it'll have a little plug on the bottom, you can plug it in. I know my brother actually has one of those third party ones. And the general consensus is that, yes, they do add wireless charging, but it is pretty slow wireless charging because it's not an authorized MagSafe charger. So you're not gonna get the full 15 watts wireless charging. And then on top of that, the actual MagSafe ring that's on the back of the phone, it ends up being significantly weaker than a first party or a uh, authorized MagSafe mount would be. So one concern that people have with something like this is that if their car, you know, if they're like, you know, bouncing around in their car, will the phone fall off? In my entire multiple months of testing that I've been doing with this guy, it's never fallen off once. I can actually pop it off, turn it landscape if I want to, have it sitting there if I'm like watching a video on my lunch break or something like that. And I've never had a single problem with it falling off. Now, it does work really, really well with MagSafe cases. So if you're using the Apple first party case, it will work perfectly. If you are using a third party MagSafe case, it will work as well. Um, I've tested it with you know Apple's cases, the Nomad Rugged case that I reviewed a couple weeks ago. I've never had any issue with it, but it, the connection is the strongest between an Apple case or just the, the phone itself and the Belkin car mount. Now, if you are using a MagSafe accessory with your phone, like let's say for example, you have the, the Apple wallet on the back of your phone, if you do want to have it mounted up against the car, that is one of the downsides. You do have to take off the wallet and then put your phone up on the mount. It's not the biggest deal, but I did notice though for the times in the last couple months that I was using the Apple wallet, it was a little inconvenient. Like I would have to take it off, find somewhere to put the wallet, 
put it up and then I get out of the car and forget the wallet in my car and I have to go back. It does add a little bit of inconvenience, so maybe this isn't the best move if you do use the Apple wallet or like maybe a pop socket or some other MagSafe accessory. Um, just something to note. Another thing, the actual mount itself does give you a good amount of degree of articulation. The way my car is set up is that the vent is kind of pushing off to the side. And so I had to put the MagSafe mount in there and then angle it in a way so that when my phone is sitting on there, it's actually pointed directly at me. Um, at first, I wasn't sure it was going to work because I didn't know if the little ball pivot that it has would be able to turn to what I was looking for, but I was able to adjust it and it ended up working perfectly. Now, you are able to turn the actual mount itself landscape if you'd like. I personally don't ever do that because the way that my mount is situated, I don't want it to mess with the angle that I have since I've kind of gotten it to like the perfect degree. Generally what I do if I want to watch my content in landscape is I'll just take the phone off, put it back on landscape, and the ring is still a circle whichever way that you have it turned. So it sits perfectly like that for me. Overall, 40 bucks, it is a little bit expensive, but the way I see it, you get what you pay for. This is a fantastic car mount. It lets you use a fast charger plug directly in it. The MagSafe quality is top tier, so it's not gonna fall off at any point while you're driving, keeping your phone secure. For 40 bucks, I definitely recommend you pick up one of these. Um, you know, as time has gone by since the new iPhone lineup came out, I've generally landed upon the consensus that MagSafe is my favorite new feature that they added. It was one that when they announced it, I didn't really think much of it, but the more and more I use it, especially with products like this, it really has made a big difference. I know it's weird to think that setting a phone on a car mount as opposed to having it just sit inside one of those older style car mounts would make such a big difference. It really does add such a layer of convenience and a cool feeling that you maybe wouldn't get without, you know, that new feature. I'll leave a link below where you can pick this up. I also am gonna be giving away this particular car mount itself right here. So just like the last giveaway, if you want to be entered to win this guy, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, like the video, and leave a comment down below with your Instagram handle. For this one, I'll be picking the winner once the video gets to 50 likes. Anyway, that's it for today's video. My name is Bobby. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Coco says bye too.